You guys see this rain? What is this? Good morning, YouTube. So happy that you guys are back here on my channel with me. Those of you that are new, welcome. I'm so happy to have you guys here. It's been raining nonstop the past two days here in Southern California, but I heard really good news that we are like officially out of the drought. I don't know if that's true. If you guys know, comment below, but that's really amazing. And even though I don't so much enjoy this rain, I'm really happy to hear that we're out of the drought. That's awesome. It is Saturday the 18th, so I am officially four weeks out from the Arnold Classic Australia, and uh, today is an off day from weight training for me, but I do have cardio still to get in. I know a lot of you guys have been requesting a full day of eating, so I am going to do that with you guys today and show you everything that I'm eating throughout the day uh, at four weeks out, so let's do this. Okay, as I'm standing right here talking to you guys, I don't usually like vlog in this spot in my bedroom, but uh, Amanda and her mom are in the kitchen right now sitting at the counter where I usually sit and I don't want to bother them because they're like working on business stuff. So I'm standing here in my bedroom and I just looked over here to my left and I don't know if I've ever showed you guys um, some of the things that I have sitting on my dresser. So I'm going to show you. This is probably like the coolest thing. My parents got this for me this past year. Uh, this is an actual drawing of my mom, my dad, and I from a Cubs game. I think this was their season opener like two years ago. That's why we're like in really warm clothes and Cubs beanies because it was really cold. I remember us sitting um, in the stadium just wrapped in like various blankets and trying to stay warm. I just recently purchased this little love wall art. It's carved out of wood. This little saying, one of my favorites, the people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do. So true. I cannot wait to hang this one. This is so dope. So it's a little record and it says music is my drug. And anyone who knows me knows how obsessed I am with music. So much yes. One of my trophies, this was last year when I placed third at the IFBB Pro Salt City Showdown. It was one of my favorite shows. I do plan on doing that show again this year. Anything is possible if you have the courage to make it happen. And most of my trophies are actually back home in Chicago because when I moved to California, I literally just packed two suitcases and flew on a plane and moved here. Um, but I brought this one with me. This was when I won my pro card at NPC Nationals. Okay, Karen is wearing a Couture Southern Illinois hoodie. Um, vintage. It's vintage. It also is, has a gum. No, this is a candle wax. Oh, candle wax. This is uh, um, an on extra $69.99. I paid for <laughs> candle wax. Those are her so, cardio only leggings. Yes. And um, these uh, designer um, Walmart. Socks from Grandma. Um, from two months ago also, Christmas yes, socks. Yes, these were Christmas socks. Vintage also. Vintage, yes. So if you want to uh, shop my style, it's um... ShopKarenNicole.com <laughs> <laughs> Perks of working from home. Yes. always look good. Work outfit. <laughs> To start off this little full day of eating, I'm going to show you guys what my supplement stack is in the morning. So I'm going to start off with my digestive enzyme, a multivitamin from NLA for her, an L-carnitine supplement from NLA for her, which is a stimulant-free fat metabolizer, a probiotic from NLA for her. This is going to help with my digestive system and is going to help minimize bloat, keep my gut healthy, and the wellness formula. This is by Source Naturals. I've been taking three of these a day just to keep my immune system in top shape. Um, being in prep and being in a caloric deficit definitely compromises your immune system just a little bit. And Amanda's home here with the flu, so I want to make sure that my immune system is in top shape. So First meal of the day is just going to be some egg whites and some white rice. You guys know this is one of my favorite combos. Don't knock it till you try it. Other than my cream of rice. Oh, hey, Amanda. Hello. Hi. <laughs> hey. Yes. She's alive. She's alive. I know. It's been a while since I think my channel has seen you in it's one of my videos. Texas, Texas video, Texas. right? Yeah, she was in D.C. visiting I was Brian. Gone and then I was dead. 
Slightly. <laughs> <Slightly. laughs> she's been, like, actually did, guys. She's been like living someone's... on that couch over there. So we're gonna like I'm hire a. Couch. We're gonna hire like someone to come in and steam clean that couch. I would be hiding in my room, but my family's here and they're hiding. Say hi to the Bucci family. Hi, Karen's channel. <laughs> love having them here. But anyway, so yeah, this is one of my favorite combos, the egg whites and white rice. I also love my cream of rice concoction. You guys know that too. I'm keeping it simple with my breakfast this morning. I did order, I showed you guys this in, I think, the last video, one of the last videos. I ordered these gallon of 100% uh, pasteurized egg whites from bodybuilding.com. Um, I just find that it's much more cost efficient than uh, buying the cartons of liquid egg whites or having to crack a bunch of eggs just to get the whites out. Not that yolks aren't good for you, they are, but I prefer to get my fats from things like nut butters because peanut butter is life. These are great so far, they taste really good. This is only my second day eating them. I've got my pan <laughs> on the scale and I just weigh the egg whites and the rice right on there. It just makes it easier. <laughs> The rice is just pre-prepared rice that I cooked in this handy dandy little rice cooker here. I use that throughout the day for several different meals. Rice cooker saves lives. I pour the rice into the pan and let it cook with the egg whites. That's the trick to getting the rice nice and crispy. I love when my rice has like a little bit of a crunch to it and I've had you guys ask how I do that so that's exactly how I do it. I literally just cook the egg whites and the rice together and just let it cook. You can like kind of hear it crackling a little bit. That means your rice is getting crispy. So that's the trick. This is the finished product. This is just four egg whites and a half a cup of white rice cooked until the rice is a little bit crispy. This is one of my favorite combos because you can make it sweet, you can make it savory, both things are essentially pretty much flavorless, so you can kind of make it whatever you want it to be. So I want it to be sweet right now. Um, if I want it savory, I might put things like a little bit of salsa and some cracked black pepper on top. Uh, but this morning, I'm gonna go with some cinnamon and one packet of stevia. And I'm gonna mix it all in with the egg whites and the rice. And I promise you guys, it is delicious. Got my cinnamon and my stevia mixed in, and for a little bit of flavor and some a little bit of added protein, I'm going to add 10 grams of the blueberry muffin and I'll lay for her her way. This is my absolute favorite protein powder right now. It actually has little baby chunks of freeze-dried blueberries in it. So good. I just realized I have not shared this with you guys yet, so on my website, I actually have a little form on the home page that you can sign up for my newsletter. Uh, if you've never visited my website before, you will get a little pop-up that comes up right away that allows you to enter in your name and your email address. If you have visited my website, all you have to do is scroll down here to where it says subscribe to my newsletter, type in your name, your email address, and hit subscribe. What I do is I send out just random little tidbits of information, motivation, content that's just exclusive for my newsletter subscribers. So last week, I sent out a good one on on pushing past plateaus. I know lots of us experience different kinds of plateaus, whether that be with weight loss, building muscle, and this is just kind of my perspective on it and just different uh, strategies for how you can push past it. And if you're interested in getting those kinds of updates, just like I said, go here, type in your name and your email address and subscribe. And I'm also going to be giving away a few free copies of my ebook once that launches, but you have to be subscribed to my newsletter in order to be entered into that drawing slash giveaway. I also send out emails when I have spots opening up for online coaching as I'm not always taking on clients so those people that are subscribed to my newsletter are always the first to know when spots open up. So if online coaching is ever something that you're interested in, um, make sure you're subscribed to my newsletter again so that you can get those updates. All right guys, quick stop at the post office. I have to mail off a birthday card for my mom and then I also have to check my P.O. box Then I'm going to be heading to the grocery store to pick up a few things. I swear, if you guys are anything like me, you can relate to this. I feel like I go to the grocery store every single day. Like, why am I always going to the grocery store? Comment below if you feel like you spend way too much time going to the grocery store. I'm just constantly living at the grocery store. I should, like, pay rent there. No, no rent. But anyway, 
Okay, post office first. Okay, I seriously have no idea what this giant box is. Clearly that did not fit in my P.O. box. It was in the oversized, so I had to grab it. What did y'all send me? <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm gonna wait till I get home to open it, so we'll all find out together. Just a small stop at the grocery store today. I picked up three bundles of asparagus. They're still on sale for $1.99 a pound, which is like incredible. So stocked up on some asparagus, cinnamon, stevia, staples for getting through prep, <laughs> turmeric, which is one of my favorite spices to use when I'm cooking, and just some almond butter. My second meal is going to be chicken that I get pre-prepared by Bite Meals. As I've talked about many times, getting my proteins prepared in bulk is something that really helps me stay on track and make sure that I'm always prepared. I do still like to throw my meals together as I go because I like to cook and I like to still get creative from time to time with different seasonings and different spices and different vegetables and things like that. Uh, this meal is going to be kept pretty simple. It is going to be four ounces of my Bite Meals chicken and then I'm going to cook that up with some asparagus that I will season and saute in a pan with my turmeric seasoning and then that will also be cooked with some of the asparagus that I just got and then for my carbs I'm going to do rice cakes these are just the lightly salted Quaker rice cakes so I'm going to do rice cakes for my carbs for this meal and I'm going to have one of them topped with this nutso uh, nut butter this is probably like my favorite nut butter right now it has cashews almonds hazelnuts Brazil nuts chia seeds, flax seeds, and pumpkin seeds all in it. So it's all completely natural, just comprised of those seven ingredients that I just read to you guys. But the crunch from like the chia seeds and the flax seeds and all that is just, the texture is everything. I like to put it on my egg whites. It's just good on everything. So yeah, if you guys haven't tried this yet, I highly, highly recommend it. I just find it at my local grocery store. One serving is two tablespoons or 33 grams and that's 17 grams of fat. 190 calories and eight carbs, so pretty similar to your typical almond butter. With this meal, I'm also going to be taking one Her Omega. This is the NLA for Her Omega. I like that these have a light lemon flavor, so they're not like your typical Omega that sometimes has that weird fishy taste. And then I'm also going to be taking one Her CLA. Now, I take a CLA and an Omega supplement three times a day. So one capsule of each three times a day and I usually space them out with my second, fourth, and sixth meal or first, third, and fifth meal, just depending on how many meals I'm eating throughout the day. So three Her CLA and three Her Omega, one capsule each three times a day. It is a low carb day for me today and so that's why you're gonna see me eating a lot of these Quaker rice cakes. You can essentially feel like you're getting more carbs throughout the day. I did have half a cup of rice this morning, so that was 25 grams of carbs right there. I like to have that like warm, fluffy, voluminous meal in the morning, so I'll essentially either do like rice or oatmeal or cream of rice, and then on a lower carb day, I'll stick to things like rice cakes throughout the rest of my day, especially when I'm this close at four weeks out through a show, at four weeks out from a show, and not eating things with like lots of preservatives or added sugar alcohols or things like that. Um, it just doesn't really agree much with my stomach and I like to keep bloating to a minimum and cutting out things with lots of artificial sweeteners and cutting out things with sugar alcohols and things that are highly processed definitely will help keep that bloating down. That's one of my biggest tips. I like to stick to whole foods as opposed to things like bars or protein cookies or things like that. They're really great every once in a while, especially if you're having a sweet tooth. They're definitely good alternatives like protein cookies and protein brownies and just different things like that and the bite meal cookies and things like that are fantastic for more macro friendly type sweet treats. But I also find too, once I start eliminating artificial sweeteners and things like that from my diet, I don't crave sweets as much. And my body just feels more energized and I feel better from the inside out when I'm eating more nutrient rich foods, getting in lots of vegetables, which I always do. I love vegetables. I cannot go a single day without like a plethora of vegetables. I just keep my foods pretty simple during prep, but that's what works for me. I just essentially want to share with you guys what I eat because that's 
what makes me feel the best. It's the food that I look forward to. It's what I eat because it makes me feel like I'm performing at my best. Uh, that's not necessarily what's going to work for you. And that's okay, but this is just what works for me, what I like, and so that's why I'm sharing it with you guys. I look forward to every single meal that I eat. I enjoy the foods that I eat. You absolutely should look forward to your foods. You should enjoy your foods. That's what makes this lifestyle enjoyable and sustainable, and so I make sure that I season my foods the way that I like, that I'm eating the food groups that I like, and that my body feels satisfied. That's not to say that there's days where I don't have cravings or I'm not feeling like extra hungry. That's normal. You push through those cravings and you just kind of got to separate the fact that you're not actually hungry, that's your mind telling you that you are. Cravings are so much more neurological oftentimes than they are physical. Just making sure that you're feeding your body the nutrients and the vitamins that it needs and that you're looking forward to your meals. And so those are just my little tips. So in my bowl here, I have my four ounces of chicken, asparagus, and something else I like to do. Sounds crazy, perhaps, but I crumbled up my rice cake and I put it in there with my meal. So again, just that texture, that crunch, it adds something extra nice to your meal. And then I'm going to season it with a little bit of turmeric, a little bit of cayenne, and my condiment of choice is just some Plotchman's mustard. Comment below if you guys know about this mustard. I swear on everything, not all mustards are created equal. This mustard is life. French's? Mm-mm. No. Plotchman's is where it's at. <laughs> Alright, let's find out what these packages from my P.O. Box are. And that giant box back there. First is a letter from a girl named Amber. This letter was so incredibly moving. Amber shared her story of her journey, not only with fitness, but in finding God and accepting him as her as her savior. And she also shared, sorry, I'm like choking up, also shared with me that she actually shouldn't even be here writing this letter. She shared that she was in a serious car accident with one of her girlfriends and that the first responders that arrived on the scene told her that she shouldn't have even survived that accident. And that is how I know and what she even wrote in her letter that God has plans for all of us and whether you are a believer or not, I truly believe that everything does happen for a reason. There is a reason, Amber, that you survived that car accident and that you are still here. And God, she shared something in the letter that I want to read to you guys, and I think this is something that we can all benefit from hearing. She wrote, when you feel down or sad, convince yourself that the day is still good. You are alive and breathing, and that is something to be grateful for because in an instant, it could all vanish. I think it's so important for us to be present in the moment that we're in and just be grateful for the day that we have in front of us. Amber, thank you so much for sharing this with me. I can't express how much it means to me that you guys share your personal stories with me and your journeys and I hope that I can meet you guys in person one day and just hug you and tell you how much I love you and how much your words mean to me. Honestly, thank you guys. This is from Tiffany's Boutique. Oh, this is a bikini from Tiff's Boutique. I'm excited to see this. It's almost bikini season here in California. Ooh, I love. How cute. The bottoms, super cute. Tied sides. Comment below if you guys want a try on. This is from Casey Moore. Casey, I know you are sending me something. She's one of my active subscribers and commenters. I love you, Casey. Casey, and I knew this about her because we had spoken via email before, in 2014, uh, Casey was diagnosed with leukemia and she is finally almost um, at a stage where the leukemia is undetectable. Casey has gone through so many struggles but has remained positive and I admire that so much about you, Casey. On her fitness journey, she's now down 32 pounds as of January 16th. She's tracking her macros. She's taking the small steps that she can to get into the gym and do cardio and to train. And although it might be a little bit of a slower process for you, Casey, I know that you will without a doubt 
get there and just reading in your letter that it is one day a goal for you to step on stage that absolutely can and will happen I believe in it you need to believe in it and it will a hundred and fifty thousand percent come true Casey you are such an inspiration and I thank you so much for your letter and she also sent me a team Casey t-shirt for leukemia awareness and I will without a doubt be wearing that with pride, Casey. Thank you so much. And some Team Casey bracelets. And yes, I will hand those out to the girls, Amanda, Emily, Marie, and Randy, like you requested in your letter, Casey. All right, let's find out what's in this box. It's a box within a box. Okay, I need scissors for this. Oh my gosh. Cargo straps on it. I can't open this. <laughs> This is like a box within a box, within a bag, within a bag. <laughs> I still don't know what it is. <laughs> oh my gosh! Ah! You guys know how badly I wanted one of these. <laughs> this thing is huge! It's as big as I am! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Look at it! <laughs> I am so freaking happy right now. <laughs> All right, so I know exactly who this is from. You guys may have, it's so big. <laughs> you guys may remember my San Antonio vlog. Um, a bunch of girls and I had an epic girls weekend and we did a meetup in San Antonio. And while in San Antonio, um, I met someone named Jordan and we've stayed in touch since then a little bit here and there. And um, he must have seen my Valentine's Day vlog where I said that I wanted one of these giant teddy bears. He did send me a DM saying to make a stop at my P.O. box and that there was going to be a package there that I would need to make room in my car for. So I am assuming, Jordan, that this is from you. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is seriously, oh, I love it. <laughs> this is literally the most giant teddy bear I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Thank you, Jordan. Oh my gosh, I don't even know where I'm gonna put it. <laughs> you guys probably know, because I've been talking about it a lot because I'm so freaking excited that my app is going to be launching soon. My developer just sent me a few screenshots of some different features within the app, like what it's going to look like when you're actually in the app, and I want to share it with you guys. This here is just a little sneak peek of the exercise list portion, the exercise library that will be in the app. As I've mentioned, there's going to be a library of over 125 exercises, all with video demonstrations, all each with two different angles of me actually performing the exercise, slow and controlled, with steps step-by-step -step instructions written as well. So basically it takes out all the guesswork for you when you're in the gym and you're wondering how to perform an exercise. Also my eight, my ebook, which is an eight week training guide is going to be launching around the exact same time as my app. And the purpose for that was so that you can follow the ebook and then if you feel like you need some guided instruction for how to perform the exercises that are in my ebook training guide, you can actually watch those being performed in my app. So they kind of essentially go hand in hand. The reason I wanted to develop both of these and offer them right at the same time was to offer just another option for people who may not be interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching or online training, may not be able to afford one-on-one -on -one training, or may just want to do your training at your own pace but also still want a super hardcore challenge. And that's what the ebook, Eight Week Training Guide, it's going to be a challenging eight weeks, but the app is also going to go hand in hand with that where you could do it at your own pace and you can have those actual demonstrations for how to perform all the exercises listed, which is so great and I'm really happy that I'm able to offer another form of training to help you guys on your fitness journeys. So comment below if you guys are as excited for my launch of my app and my ebook as I am. I am so excited to be able to bring this other form of training to you guys. And here is another. But don't mind the little typo. That is actually supposed to say diary, not dairy. That already has been fixed. But you can see uh, there's going to be the exercise library, a diary option, 
slash journal and a section for a guided meditation where I will actually be walking you guys through some meditation. As you guys know, self-care is something that I find incredibly important and so I wanted to include some aspects of that in my app as well. Uh, for the journal section, I'll actually be giving you guys prompts where you can kind of log and write about your journey and your progress and just be mindful of the progress that you're making and how things are going and you can even have the option in the app to share your journal entries with me if you want you don't have to uh, and you will also have the option to share your progress photos with me as well so I think that's really cool and just another way for us to connect along our journeys together which is amazing this is just a little snippet of what the video demonstration will look like. So that will actually be a video that will be playing at the top of me performing the exercise. And then underneath the video will be a written explanation of how to actually perform the exercise itself. So that's just one example right there. I'm so excited. I think that you guys can probably tell by like the look on my face and just like my overall enthusiasm. This is a project that I've been working on for a very long time. My ebook as well. I just put so much time, effort, and just heart and soul into creating this because I wanted it to be something that's incredibly valuable and beneficial for you guys and just another form, like I said, of being able to help you on your journeys. It's coming soon! It's coming soon!